Good morning, Shane Brigade, and welcome back to another Suey Shares video, guys, with me on a beautiful morning. Thank you guys so much for clicking into my video and for joining me today, guys. Hashtag Team All Blade, hashtag No Blade Left Behind, guys. Today, we're not using a DE blade. We're going to start uh, exploring the SE world, guys. We're going to jump over to something a little bit more premium, and I'm so excited to share it with you guys today. We're going to be rocking a razor that came to me from my buddy over here, Plegic Shaves, guys, right here, Colin Claffin, guys, the man, the wizard, the shiny magic wizard, guys, sent me, right, I purchased from him the Alpha Claymore Razor, guys. This is the Alpha Claymore, and today we're going to be using it with my buddy, Charles, uh, that writes for Sharpologist. We're going to be using his handle, guys. This is a T-bomb titanium handle out of Russia, guys. That's just absolutely stunning. And paired together, those colors, guys, come on. Look at those colors. Just absolutely beautiful, right? And today, we're going to be trying a new blade out, guys. A new blade, new a new razor you guys haven't seen. And we're going to be discussing the Alpha Claymore V3 razor and my experience thus far, guys. I'm so excited. I'm thrilled. It's going to be awesome. I'm crossing my fingers that we don't draw blood today, guys. My fingers are crossed because... The last three shaves I've had, guys, have been wildly crazy. They've been all over the board, all over the experience spectrum, right? On the shave science skin, guys, there's no standard deviation for this, guys. I've had extreme on one and extreme. The middle variation here has just not been uh, super easy to find on this razor. And today, because of that, we're going to be using new blades. I ordered a full set of new blades, guys. We ordered the Kai Captain Tight, um, these are the mild pinks, guys. These are the Titan mild pink blades, right? I also ordered the Feather Super Sharp, guys. The Feather Professional Super Ultra Nasty Sharp. And I also, guys, have been trying out the Feather Professionals, guys. I've been trying out a bunch of different things. And I'm hoping today we figure out and dial in this amazingly beautiful razor today. I'm just thrilled, guys. I'm crossing my fingers. If this is a razor you've seen, guys, you know it's considered to be like premium. It's considered to be very, very higher end when it comes to the SE world. And for me, I think it's really cool looking, guys. I think it's really cool looking when you compare it to something like the Vector which I don't own and do not actually have, I've never had the opportunity to shave with one, but I have this guys from Yachi. I know naughty, naughty that I have the knockoff part, right? When you compare it guys, cause keep in mind the head caps are very similar to this in the vector. It gives you an idea on sizing. The Claymore is a larger razor, right? The, it's got a larger head to it. It's a little bit hefty, right? This is 120 gram stock guys. And for me, the razor has shaved extraordinarily aggressive guys. So it doesn't have a ton of blade fill, no blade fill, right? It's like kind of mild, mild, but it eliminates stubble like a laser. And I tend to, if I even press a little bit, guys, with that extra weight of the handle, 120 grams coming in, I get a nick. I've noticed, I've, I've started nicknaming this the Nick Master because I can't seem to get a shave without a darn nick, guys. I don't know what it is. Call me the noob. Call me the Subi newbie, guys. I don't know what's going on, guys. But today I'm hoping we get a good shave. We're going to be protecting our skin with Citricuya. Citricuya? Citricuya. Whatever, however you pronounce this, guys, from B&M. This is a soap that smells, according to like their uh, West Coast shave, right? Perfect for summer in Florida. Guys, I don't, they don't mention what kind of Florida, you know, the bayou part of Florida, whether this is the ritzy part of Florida, I don't know, but I like it, guys. It's a nice smell. It's a really nice smell. It's got blood orange and pear. That's really the top notes that I get. And the back note I get is a little bit of the pink peppercorn that gives it a smokier scent. It's really nice. I think the smoky scent that comes out of it, like the peppery scent, is actually kind of enjoyable. I think it definitely sets the scent apart from just being another, you know, citrus forward scent. Really nice scent from Will over at B&M, guys. Really nice. And this is the Excelsior base. It was a harder base. Kind of, it, it lasts, guys. It's a way long-lasting base for me. I wanted to mention we're using Mountain Hair Shavings Glow in the Dark Brush. Because I like the blue on the blue. I thought it was cool. And we have already got it whipped up, guys. Take a look. Take, what do you guys think? I'm pretty sure that's got wag to it for all day long. Um, I really like this base from Will. For me, it's really easy to hydrate and get good lathers with. Um, and you guys can see it's definitely thick and shiny, right? Really thick and shiny. This is the Excelsior base, again, from Will. And this is Citricuya, guys. I really like this. 
It is just fun to play with. It is really fun to play with. Ah, look at this. We're gonna need that extra protection. I'm telling you, I am crossing my fingers, hoping I don't embarrass myself today on camera with you guys with the Alpha Claymore. We're gonna be using the, uh, this is Northern Elixir from no, no, um, no, uh, from uh, <laughs> from Otter, from Noble Otter, guys. This is Northern Elixir from Noble Otter that I really like. I think it's a very nice scent. Um, it, it's like, it's a very cooling scent, right? It's a cold, it's a cold after splash. Has lots of menthol to it. And for me, I wanna really test my skin after the Kai Pink shave today to see how it does. So we're gonna use a little bit of menthol to see if I can get any, you know, burning or anything like that. We're also gonna be doing some alum testing to really see where this lands as far as uh, is it getting, is it gonna stay in the den or not? All right, guys, that's it. I wanna show you guys kind of how this compares to some of the other razors I use on the Subi Hat Cam angle and how it goes together. Come with me and let's get it loaded. Right to you guys on the Subi Hat Cam angle, we've got the Alpha Claymore, guys, in the beautiful stainless steel 120 gram format, guys, the most up to date V3 version, and it's got that beautiful, spectacular, absolutely marshmallows only kind of finish from Cole and Claffin. It's got that heat tint, guys. Keep in mind, this is not done with electro electroplating or anything like that. This was done with a blowtorch to achieve these colors. Absolutely beautiful. So call it what you will, um, call it, you know, heat tinting or heat coloring, heat discoloring. Guys, take a look at just how beautiful this razor is in this um, kind of finish. I think it's stunning. I think it gives it a steampunk vibe. And I really wanted to show you guys up close and personal just how good of a job that Colin did on um, tinting this, guys. Isn't that cool? I think it's unique and it really stands out in my collection, guys. It stands out. I set it aside and I really like this, guys. It is 120 grams from Alpha to your door, and I find this to be a little bit cumbersome, guys, not because it's uncomfortable, but because these blades, right, the Artist Club blades that they take are extraordinarily sharp. So when you start using this razor, right, you wanna have a light touch. And I find that heavy touch with as, uh, as much blade is exposed and as aggressive it is to be what I'm, I've been referring to as the Nick Master, guys. I'm telling you, I've had really, really rough shaves with this razor as of recently. So today, I ordered a bunch of new blades. Today, we're gonna be trying out a new one. I'm gonna be using these Kai. Um, these are the Captain Pinks, guys. They are the Captain Titan Mild Pinks from Kai. I really think these may work, guys. I'm really excited to try them out. I've read really good things about the Kai brand and the pinks being a pretty mild experience compared to these blades. Now, over on Blackland's website, keep in mind that's a different product website, they mentioned that these blades are kind of down the line. They're down the middle. These blades right here from Feather, these are the Super Pros, so the Feather Supers, or whatever you want. These are more sharp than even these ones, guys. So I'm gonna be doing some experimenting. I've had four shaves with this razor, and I've gotten out a couple of my other razors, guys, that I use AC razor blades in. You can see these are the Durham of old. These are made in Mystic, Connecticut, guys. This is the Durham um, Duplex razor, and here's the Durham Dorset, guys. Really pretty razors that were produced in the vintage era that I've used on channel a bunch of times and showcase how I use AC blades in them. And so far, these have been my favorite AC razor, honestly, guys, even though I'm using them, you know, kind of with a hack. And then we're going to be using, I, I'm showcasing, guys, right here, the Yachi. This is the Excalibur V2. This is like, it used to be called uh, the Raster V2. It's now, it's called the um, Excalibur. If you That version. So this is kind of cool, but for me, this is extraordinarily mild, guys. I've never had a good shave with this razor, right? I've had a bunch of videos where I've shimmed the crap out of it and tried to make it work for me. So I'm going to be trying some different blades in that as well. But today, guys, I wanted to talk about this Alpha Claymore, and we're going to be using the Alpha Claymore with a lightened handle, guys. In the 120 gram format, again, for me, it's just a little bit much. And we're gonna be using Charles's uh, titanium T-bomb handle that he sent me, guys. This is Charles's handle, and I really think that it's a much better fit for the Claymore. I like the Claymore lighter. For me, guys, 70 grams, uh, like, with this format is just much, much better on the skin. I do like the logoing that Alpha puts on their um, razor. I think it's really nice. I wanted to mention this, guys, because people mentioned it on, uh, on forums. The new Alpha Claymore does have some movement. And people were talking about, you know, because this isn't a premium razor, that they thought this fit and finish could have been better. If you look, it has a little bit, I don't even know if you guys can hear this. 
See how it has a little bit of movement to the head cap? What well, while it's together, guys. There's a little bit of movement. And people mentioned that on a bunch of the reviews. They said, you know, I'm not sure why it has so much movement. For me, it doesn't actually affect the shave at all because when it's tightened down, there's no movement. We're not using these blades. Those blades can get set aside. We're going to be using these ones. I'm really excited, guys. Um, the AC Razor blades are completely different than our modern blades uh, that are DE blades, right? They're different than an SC blade, guys. If you get a DE blade out and you look at these, take a look. I mean, they're drastically different. They come in a different packaging. Um, they're very, they're, they're, when you look at them even compared to a, a gem blade, guys, I think I have a gem blade sitting out here so, uh, somewhere right here. If you look at it compared to a gem blade, look at how much smaller it is compared to a gem blade. They're very different razor blades um, and they tend to be really sharp. These go in like Kamasori styled razors, guys. They go in the, the feather um, blade razors and they make a bunch of different blades for it. This blade is very unique. And I'm gonna grab uh, this right here. I have, actually have a uh, spare blade. Just give me one second. I have a extra blade of the Feather Pro out. And I wanted to show you guys, this is on my right, right here. I'm gonna, it's gonna be easier if I do it like this. I'm gonna hold it like this and I'll chop, chop myself up. The one on my right, guys, is the Feather Pro. And the one on the left is actually the um, Kai Mild. You guys can see they look similar, but they definitely have some differences on the blade. Very, very interesting how they've uh, shaped the blade differently and it's actually a different color. In person, guys, it's actually a different color and you can see it has kind of a coating to it. Whereas the feathers do not, in my opinion. They're, they they come across as not having that kind of coating. Very interesting. Very, very interesting, in my opinion, guys. I'm trying to get this so you guys can see as good as possible. There you guys go. What do you know? I can do it. Subi Hat Cam Angle for the win! Um, definitely different blades. These Kai's look very, very different compared to the Feather um, uh, Feather Professional blades. I don't know, we're gonna try it out. How this razor works, guys. You take your blade, and I, what I've been doing is I've been sitting it in like this. Just taking it and sitting it right in. And keep in mind, the Claymore, guys, is on its third variation. The first two variations, the first variation, you couldn't even use these blades, right? They apparently did not work. And then the second variation, from what I've heard, was extraordinarily aggressive. Um, one person I, I listened to mentioned that they thought it felt like a face peeler. And then the third variation, guys, tends to be the more mild of the two, or the three, and the smoothest of the three, guys. You see, mine popped out, and you, I, I have to make sure it's all the way tightened down. Try this again, like this. I'm also doing something that's a little naughty. I'm adding that little plastic uh, buffer uh, piece just so that when I'm tightening it down, I don't, you know, wear Charles's uh, handle into my razor and, or wear off the softer finish. Because keep in mind, this finish we're using, guys, is softer from Colon. Uh, when you heat tint something like this, it can come off very easily, right? It's not very durable finish. Just be aware. Just be, be just a note. Uh, I can tell you guys this. It looks much different compared to the, um, the feather blades. Very different. And I'm excited to try these today. I've never used these blades before. I have no idea what I'm getting myself in for. You guys are coming with me. We're gonna try it out. Let's go see how it does on the skin. Boom, guys, welcome back. I hope that's entertaining and exciting and enjoyable for you guys to see how the Alpha Claymore goes together. Like I said, I've um, been kind of playing around with it for a couple shaves now, and I've had wildly different shaves, guys, with the same blades even. I've been using the Feather Professional Blades, and I've had some shaves that were not very close, but I still had irritation, which was really weird, right? My head actually had irritation, but I could feel stubble. It was like a, it was like a DFS shave, but there was like irritation to it. It was weird. I've also had very, very, very close shaves, guys, where there was no stubble for like 24 hours, right? Very close, but I had tons of nicks. I bled on my pillow, guys. I had so many nicks on my head, on the back of my head, where my stubble swirls. And I'm pretty sure what's going on is I pushed a little bit. You know, my first shave with that, I pushed a little bit, a tiny bit. And those blades are so ultra efficient and very, very sharp. I cut myself, right? So when I've compared this to the other five AC razors I've used, guys, this is probably the most expensive one. And it definitely it has some kick to it. I know that I've read a bunch of reviews. People are like, oh, it's, it's a very mild razor. Just, just because it's mild doesn't mean it doesn't have any kick to it. This has a lot of kick to it for me, guys. Um, when it comes down to actually slapping the stubble down, I have been using zero pressure. And on a zero pressure kind of pull, right? You set the razor down very lightly. I have lightened it up with a lighter handle even to try to help control the amount of pressure I'm using. 
I was able to get a zero nick shave, guys, on my head at least. Zero nick, but on my neck, especially on my neck where I have really coarse stubble and very soft and very sensitive skin, I had irritation patches up and down my skin. It looked like I had a rash, guys, on my neck from trying it out on my neck. So for me, the feather blades, I don't know if it's the feather blades or if it's the razor, guys. So today I'm trying the Kai Pinks. And like I said, I ordered some really sharp feathers just to see if it's the more dull blade going through a coarse stubble. If I make it sharper, if it makes it better. Guys, we may be stopping this midway. I don't know. We're going to try this out. For me, this has been kind of a hard, hard thing to digest because when you buy a premium razor, right? I don't want to come on here and be like, it's terrible. Nobody should use it. No, I don't want to do that. When you buy a premium razor though, you really hope you're getting the premium experience, right? That's how I feel with Leaf. When I spend the money on Leaf, even though it's not considered high end, right? By any means, I know that I'm going to enjoy my experience. When I bought the um, one blade, right? You're buying an experience. You're buying their experience. And this one, I just... I don't know if the alpha experience, guys, has been for me. Honestly, it's just been really efficient. And I end up getting caught every single time. So today, you know, like all things are blade related. We're going to try it with different blades and see how it goes. The Kai Captain Pinks, right? The mild, they do look different. They have a staggered step down kind of look. Don't take a look at this, guys. You see how that is like actually steps down on the blade. I don't know. It looks really interesting. They look towards the end of it, kind of tapers off. Looks interesting. I've never used these. And that's what's kind of interesting to me, uh, personally as a wet shaver, is you get done digesting DE razor blades, you get done digesting injector blades, and then you go over to these AC blades and they're completely different. There's only about five different versions of them that you can actually buy or six. There was at 1.8 or nine, they kind, of, they kind of taper in and out. Um, but what's available easily is about five or six different blades and they go from wildly sharp to like, what I can tell, like dull almost. Like people are like, these are don't even cut wild changes in blade sharpness, guys. And hopefully this is more medium. So we're gonna find out today. We're gonna find out. On the first swipe, guys, the blade feels much smoother to me than the feathers. Much smoother. And keep in mind, these razors, the AC blades, guys, are actually intended for straight blades, right? They're intended for the Camisori straights, the feather straights, the DX. Those kind of razors. And so when you're using these, the, you're not using them at an angle or the, the design that they were originally intended for. And so I can understand you almost need a, a blade specific for an SE razor, guys, um, that is different than the like the, the straights. And when you're reading reviews, most of the guys are using them in straights. So what I tried to do, guys, personally, is I tried to look for reviews when I was buying these blades for people that use them in things like the Hawk right? The, the, from Razor Rock, the Hawk is an SE that's very similar. The Vector, I tried looking up people that were using them in the general, Colonial General, to just see if they had good experiences. And from what I can read, guys, most, some guys really swear by those feather professionals. I like this much better. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I already am going, I'm going two times as fast. I'm not on mentality mode like 12. Right, guys, I'm telling you, it was not a marshmallows only kind of shaver for me when I was using it. And I'm right now I'm on 30 hours of growth. It's knocking it down, no problems. Um, but it's so much smoother, and I'm not having like chatter, and I'm also not scared of it. When I was using it before, guys, I was like shaking. The third shave I had with this, I actually shook, and I was like, okay, no more of this. I'm going, I'm just gonna use it on my body. I had cuts like all over, dude, and it was not good for me. It was not great. But this I could actually get down with. Oh my goodness, it's so much smoother with the pinks. I mean, that is night and day difference. The feather line, guys, for me was, sorry, it's my morning turning on, was extremely sharp. I couldn't even do this. If I had done that on my head, I would be bleeding right now. I would be bleeding. If I had tried to do it with the proto lather, I would have gashes. I did have gashes. I had gashes all over my head. Wow, that is just, again, guys, I can't stress this enough. If you're having a bad experience with a razor, don't discount it, right? Look at it for what it is and try to, you know, dial it in uh, using, you know, different blades, a different mentality, a different handle, right? Just dial it in for you because you can get a great shave usually with just some tweaking. 
look at your lather, take a, you know, take an objective look and say, is it me? Or what do I, what, what can I do to make this work for me? The angle is extremely intuitive without the feather blade hanging out. I may not use those other blades, guys. I may just return those and just buy more Captain Pinks, the yellows, the, or the, the Kais. Cause that is a much faster, way more enjoyable shave for me. You can tell it's a larger blade, but I am not getting any, like, guys, look at this. I'm actually getting really good performance on those blades. Really good performance without tons of irritation. Yes! Marshmallows only. Yes, guys. Skittle me luckies, man. That is nice. Hella freaking Luya, man. Oh, I was really starting to regret my decisions. I was like, oh, well, that one did not work for me. That experience was not for me. And finally, guys, yes! And that's why I swear by it. Gotta give yourself some time. You know, uh, try some things out. Don't give up on your first, you know, even three or four bad shaves. Just kind of try to, try to dial it in. You'd be amazed at even switching a blade, switching a handle. Even switching lathers, guys, could um, change things for you. Oh, this is great. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am doing some pressing. I'm doing naughty things with this now. Naughty things. And it works. Yes. Oh, great gracious. Now I want to try it with the OG handle. Now I want to go with the 100 gram handle, guys. I want to see it with that extra handle. Because this, with the lighter handle, is so easy. Oh, my goodness. It, like, it actually hugs the skin correctly now. When before, if I put it down to where it wanted to be, instant cut. Instant cut for me, guys. It just could be my skin's a little softer than some people's. It could be that those feather, um, those feather pro blades that I got just, guys, I don't know. They just did not work for me. And I use them in the Durham razors without much of a problem. And I also use them in the Yachty razor. And I can't actually even shave with the Yachty razor. It's so mild with them. They won't actually cut anything. But finally, guys, take a look. And this is a large razor blade. So while you're shaving, it does take a little bit of extra like care. You kind of have to learn how to use the larger razor blade. For me, at least I did. I don't know. Maybe some people would come in and they're like, oh, that's easy. For me, I had to learn how to use like, you know, in tight spots, especially like around my chin when I'm shaving here. I had to learn how to get in with that like space and use the corner of the blade to shave around um, on my chin. But I'm telling you guys, this is so much better. I finally figured it out, guys, and I did it with you guys on channel. I swear to you guys, I did not know if this was gonna work. I promise you, I had no idea. I was like, I may be bleeding today on channel. I may, and I was gonna be fully transparent about the experience I had previous to this experience, guys. It was not pleasant, and the shave did not last, guys. That was the other thing for me. It did not last. I had one shave where I didn't cut myself and the shave was like three hours long. I swear to you guys, the next day, it felt like I had 50 hours of stubble on my head. It didn't shave very long. And I think that's because I was too scared to get in and actually shave. You know what I mean? I was too scared of the razor to let it do its job. So I did a three pass and it just didn't actually cut very well. And if you notice, there's certain areas where I have to kind of go back and rebuff and the reason why is because the razor blade's so large, I have to kind of, on a circular surface, make sure that I'm actually shaving. The, the blade's coming in full contact with the skin. Really good shave, guys. Really nice shaver. And I'm thrilled to, to, I'm thrilled to say I can keep it. Right, the wife, I was talking to her last night, and I was like, I don't know, that one may be going. She's like, you'll figure it out. And that's really all about, guys. You, you just have to be able to figure it out. Really nice shave. Definitely, definitely a premium product that for me had to, um, I had to find the right blades for. Keep in mind, these blades are not super cheap, guys. These blades are, they sit at about a dollar a piece. I think I paid $20 for 20 blades. They are not cheap blades, guys, at all. But from what I understand is you can get about three or four shaves, usually. For me, I tried to shave a second time with the blades from the feather line, guys, and they were brutal. They were choppy, they were not smooth, and they did not give me a good experience. And so I'm really excited to see if these ones will last a little longer. I'd like to get three shaves per blade. That's my goal on AC blades. 
that would make them a little at 33 cents even still a little more expensive but if you're you know wanting something special that's okay with me i can i can manage that a dollar i don't know if i necessarily want to do a dollar come in right here I like this so much more. I know I'm going a little bit slower, guys. I know I'm taking a little bit of extra time to chase the baby here, but I really want to see if we can dial that in to the point where it's leaf close, right? That's my goal here. Will it shave as close as my thorn? Guys, I think we're there. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think this is as close as I could get with any other razor. And I did it with, um, again, the Kai Captain Mild Pinks, guys. They look a little funny, but they shave really nicely. And I, they are a mild blade, guys. They are a really mild blade. That's one thing. I know that you guys are like, seeing me do a little bit extra passes, right? They're mild, but that's exactly what I need in that razor. They're right, the Claymore, for me, guys, when you compare it to the Yashi Excalibur, is a hundred times more prone to nicks. A thousand times, guys. A thousand million times more prone. And when you add the heavier handle, it's really prone. I had like gashes up my chest, guys. I'm telling you, with this razor, with the lighter handle and the mild blades, it's like a perfect pairing in heaven, guys. This, wow, finally, yes! There's no stubble on my head after the Claymore shave. I literally got done shaving. The one day I walked down, my wife did this. She's like, oh, you still have stubble. I'm like, dang it. Yeah, and it took me so much more time. I bet I spent 25 minutes on my head, guys, trying to get it down to where I was using such light pressure, but at the same time trying to shave. And then I'd go in and nick myself. You know what I mean? I think that's the thing too. When you're scared of your razor and you're doing all this like extra fussing and fiddling and, and fear, that's when you cut yourself, right? So I think finding a blade that you can just, you know, shave normally and without any kind of fear. Guys, look at this. <laughs> yeah! This right here is what I was looking for when it came to an SE shave. Really nice, guys. Really, really nice. Really good. And the soap, the Citra Gooey, you guys, the Excelsior Serum Base, it performed as expected. Absolutely beautiful performance from B&M on, uh, you know, residual slickness and protection and comfort. All right, guys, beautiful shape. It's staying. We're keeping it. That's right. I'll have to tell the wife. That's really nice. Finally, guys, finally, a good shave that didn't take me an hour to do. I'm not, okay, it was like 20 minutes. It was such a long time, guys. I'm grabbing the alum. We're going with the alum. So before, I had this mark that went like this on the corner of my head. And I thought it was from the corner of the blade. I, You know what I mean? I don't know what it was from. But I had this mark that went up the side of my head even. It's really uncomfortable. And the razor itself does not have any sharp corners. So I could not figure out where that came from. Like, but this, the corners on this razor are not sharp there, guys. They're nice. Everything on this is well-rounded. It's well-made. Honestly, Alpha did a great job on the V3 putting it together. It's just finding the blade that fits your skin. So if you're going to do this, guys, I was over on Bull Goose on, on I think it's Mongoose's website. There's a couple other places that sell razors like this. And I was reading and they're like, you know, you got to try them all. You got to get all five blades and try because one of those AC blades is going to match your skin. Guys, and, and, and that combination, I may be one of these weird people that needs a different AC blade for every razor that's an AC razor, and that's kind of annoying, but when you get a good shave like this, I mean, it's hard to refute. When you get a good shave, guys, wow! It was fast, too. I'm, like, blown away, guys. It's fast. It was comfortable, and it makes me want to use the OG blade, like the OEM blade, because of the, how good it shaved, and I could add a little weight to it, even beautiful shave yes excellent shout out goes to call uh, to colin for selling it to me i'm just absolutely thrilled to have gotten it working i texted him twice and i was like dude that thing's rough with those feather blades man it beat me up good <laughs> it beat me up real good but this was awesome awesome shave thank you guys for joining me again if you're having rough shaves guys don't give up on the item Rethink things out. Try things, you know, adjust. Try a handle. Try a different blade. Try a different angle even. Try just, you never know. The smooth, sweet spot could be right around the corner like this. Thank
Thanks guys for joining me. I hope your mornings are fantastic going forward. I'll see you guys in the next Subi Shaves video. Subi out.